friends don't let friends put q-tips in guitars. Have you ever been frustrated with your tremolo on your Strat and you found that when you put it in it just kind of becomes useless because really you just want a nice subtle vibrato tremolo but it's all floppy and it just does not feel very good and you're trying to get some subtle tremolo in there and it just kind of clicks back and forth. It's not smooth at all. And if you've tried a Bigsby tremolo and you get that nice smooth action, you're thinking, this sucks. But how do I fix it? If you do a quick search, you might find some guys saying, take a Q-tip. And no, don't stick it in your ear, stick it in your guitar. And I thought, hey, this sounds really simple. It's cheap, I have it in my bathroom, I can just go and do this for free. You take the end of the Q-tip off and you shove it in there and you put the tremolo arm in and it has some nice uh, tension to it. But that would be a big mistake. So you stuff one of these in there and then you stuff in another one and you realize it doesn't actually work. It doesn't solve any of the loose tremolo arm action. It might keep your tremolo arm in one place, but it's not a good idea. So how do you get all that junk out of your guitar? It only takes a couple of seconds to put it in there, but you might spend hours getting it out. After some trial and error, here's what I found does a decent job. You take a drill bit, I've got a 7 64ths here, and leave the top part empty. But take some tape, and this is something I'm going to talk about later on, is some plumber's tape, uh, thread seal. This stuff is great. Keep a pack of that in your guitar case. So put some of that on the threads of the drill bit so that when you're drilling out some of the cotton and q-tip gunk you've got in there that you don't damage the threads. Grind it in there and, and that will help to loosen up some of the cotton. And the other thing you'll need to do is create something you can go fishing with. I've got an old guitar string here that I took the end and bent it around into a tiny little hook so that you can put that in there and fish out the old cotton. Ugh. And that's just the one piece of many that I've already dug out of there. Drill, fish, and repeat. <clears throat> okay, I'm getting the drill. That's it. I can feel the drill on metal. If you're going to use this, don't do too much. Take it really slow. And if you hear metal on metal, stop. Friends don't let friends put Q-tips in guitars. Now that we've got all the cotton gunk out of the tremolo, it's time to do it properly. So I've got one of these springs here that's uncompressed. That one is uh, not completely perfect. I think I've put it in before and uh, just the very top ring is starting to compress a little bit. But the nice thing is that they're not completely garbage. If you've got one that's completely compressed, you can actually take a screwdriver and a pair of pliers, just hold it still with the pliers and wedge the screwdriver in between the, uh, the rings of the, of the spring or the coils and you can spread it back out and hopefully it uh, will gain some life and you can use it again. The trick I'd like to do to make it nice and snug is to use the tape I mentioned earlier, the plumber's tape. And we just take the plumber's tape and wrap a bit around the top portion, the portion that's gonna sit right near the top of the bridge so that that will be nice and snug. So here's a new spring that hasn't been compressed yet. Let's try that and see how that sounds. So right around here is where the spring starts to engage and hold it in place. So we'll just go half a turn past that. Let's plug it in and see what it sounds like. That 
that's much nicer. You can see there's no play in that at all. So I can be really subtle with the tremolo. Here's an example of the guitar without the spring or the tape. So there's all this play, even though it's threaded in almost to the very bottom. There's all this play. And I'm moving it a lot, but there's no trim. Or very little. It's not smooth at all. Not fun to play. And with the spring and the tape, it. Use the right spring, don't put cotton in there, and a little bit of plumber's tape in your case, and you're set to go. Just remember, don't dive bomb. An added bonus feature, now that you have yourself a little fishing line, you can take the spring out easily if it doesn't want to come out.